The AMX-56 Leclerc stands as a testament to French prowess in combat tank design, serving as the flagship main battle tank of the French army in the contemporary era. Offering a formidable solution for the Armored Corps' requirements, the Leclerc boasts modern features and impressive specifications, albeit at a complexity and cost that cannot be overlooked. However, despite its potential, the Leclerc's performance on the modern battlefield remains largely untested, contrasting with the proven track records of its Western counterparts, the German Leopard 2, American M1 Abrams, and British Challenger 2, all of which have demonstrated their capabilities in various engagements. The Leclerc has seen operational deployment in peacekeeping missions in Kosovo and Lebanon, where both French and UAE variants have been utilized. Notably, upon its introduction, the Leclerc marked the first combat tank produced on French soil in over three decades, signifying a significant achievement and a source of national pride. Presently, the Leclerc is exclusively employed by the French and the United Arab Emirates, with the latter also contributing to the project's development and manufacturing costs. Here's a revised version of your text. As early as the mid-1960s, French authorities recognized the need to modernize their armored corps, which at the time relied on the AMX 30B2 main battle tank. Despite its contemporary status alongside the American M60A3 Patton, the German Leopard 1, and the British Chieftain, the AMX 30 was deemed insufficient against the emerging Soviet tank designs. Consequently, efforts commenced to develop a more advanced solution, even as the AMX 30 began to be integrated into the French army inventory. Throughout the 1970s, requirements for a new main battle tank were refined. In 1980, France and Germany embarked on a collaborative initiative to replace their aging Leopard 1 and AMX-30 fleets, aiming to minimize development and production costs while delivering a modern, effective, and logistically feasible solution. However, like many multinational tank development projects, this partnership eventually dissolved, with each nation pursuing its own path. While the Germans pursued the development of the highly regarded Leopard 2 family, the French continued with their indigenous design, designated as the AMX 48 Engen de Combat Principle, ECP, from 1983 onwards. Extensive testing and refinement of various components ensued, culminating in the realization of the first true prototype, along with five others, in 1989. Following formal evaluation by the French army, the tank was officially adopted into service as the AMX-54. Production commenced in 1990, with GIAT TARB responsible for the turret component and GIAT ROAN for the hull and final assembly. Deliveries began in 1991, and formal service entry commenced in 1992. The tank was christened the Leclerc in honor of French General Philippe Leclerc de Hotclock, who led free French army forces, including the 2nd Armored Division, in the liberation of German-occupied Paris during World War II. In 1993, the United Arab Emirates, UAE, procured the Leclerc, with formal operational use by the UAE Army beginning in 1996. In comparison to other main battle tanks of Western origin, the Leclerc ventured into some unconventional design territory. While its dimensions aligned with those of other Western tank models, it distinguished itself by being one of the lightest modern main battle tanks in service, weighing in at 54,500 kilograms, 54.5 tons. Internally, the Leclerc diverged from the Leopard 2, M1 Abrams, and Challenger 2 by incorporating an autoloader, manufactured by Cruzatloir, to handle the loading and reloading functions of the main gun. This feature, more commonly found in Soviet tank designs, enables a smaller overall profile while reducing the required crew to just three personnel, the tank commander, gunner, and driver. In the Leclerc, the driver occupies the front left of the hull, while the gunner is positioned to the right of the main gun in the turret, and the commander sits to the left of the main gun, also within the turret. The design of the Leclerc exudes a sleek and modern aesthetic, characterized by its slim turret and streamlined side profile. The turret features a distinctive overhang at the bustle, housing the autoloader and ammunition stocks. Positioned at the front center of the turret, the main gun is accessed through a robust gun mantle installation. Periscopes situated atop the turret roof afford the gunner and commander excellent visibility of the surrounding terrain. Communication antennas for the dual radio sets are mounted on the rear turret roof. The hull of the Leclerc is equally sleek and uncluttered, with a well-sloped glassy plate. The driver's position is identifiable by vision blocks and an access hatch offset to the left hull side. Front hull side headlamps facilitate dusk and nighttime driving, while fenders shield the tank from mud and debris. The track system comprises six road wheels per hull side, managed by a front-mounted track idler and a rear-mounted drive sprocket. Track return rollers handle the upper sections of the track, 
although these are mostly concealed by the side skirt armor, a common feature among modern main battle tanks. The engine is located at the rear of the hull, isolated from the crew compartment. Suspension is provided by a hydropneumatic system, ensuring the Leclerc delivers the outstanding cross-country performance demanded of modern armored combat vehicles. The primary armament of the Leclerc main battle tank is the formidable 120mm Giant CN 120-26-52 series smoothbore main gun, a widely recognized and potent weapon in the realm of tank armaments. The crew has access to a diverse arsenal of five types of 120mm projectiles, including AP, armor-piercing, and HE, high-explosive, rounds. Key among these are the APFSDS, armor-piercing, fin-stabilized, discarding sabo, round and the heat, high-explosive, anti-tank, round, enabling the Leclerc to engage a spectrum of targets ranging from enemy armor to fortified positions and troop concentrations. To facilitate logistical efficiency, the ammunition types adhere to NATO standard dimensions. Situated at the front of the turret, the main gun is fully powered, with electrical operation supplemented by manual backup, enabling a complete 360-degree rotation for engagement from any attack angle. Furthermore, the main gun boasts stabilization across both axes, allowing for accurate firing even while on the move. The fire control system, FCS, is fully digital, centered around a Kotag FCS and supported by an onboard laser rangefinder, passive night vision, and various sighting optics. The finders, fast information, navigation, decision and reporting system, augments crew assistance with a comprehensive display providing real-time information on active targets, mission route planning, and friend or foe, FOF, management. A fume extractor, conventionally mounted on the main gun barrel, utilizes a compressed air system to expel potentially hazardous gases away from the firing compartment. With its auto-loader, the main gun achieves an impressive rate of fire of 12 rounds per minute. Additionally, a notable feature uncommon in Western tanks is the installation of a 12.7mm Giant M693, F2, coaxial heavy machine gun, offering enhanced anti-armor capability against light-armored vehicles. Aerial threats are countered by a 7.62mm NFI anti-aircraft machine gun mounted on the turret roof. For defensive and tactical purposes, the Leclerc is equipped with 27 smoke-slash-anti-personnel grenade dischargers arranged in three banks of nine launchers each, forming part of the Active Gaelic's Combat Vehicle Protection System, CVPS. The tank's inherently low-profile design further enhances its survivability by minimizing its detectability and engagement range. Ammunition is strategically stored throughout the hull and turret of the vehicle for operational efficiency. Positioned to the right front hull next to the driver's position is a 120mm ammunition drum, housing rounds for immediate access. Within the automatic loading system, 22 120mm projectiles are ready for firing, with one chambered, while the tank carries a total of 40 120mm rounds, including 18 located in the hull itself. In the turret, ammunition storage is segregated from the crew by an armored bulkhead, with integrated blast panels designed to enhance crew survivability in the event of a direct enemy hit, whether from a projectile, missile, or other ordnance. This setup effectively redirects the blast away from the tank, minimizing potential damage. The Leclerc also accommodates up to 1,100 rounds of 12.7mm ammunition and 3,000 rounds of 7.62mm ammunition for the two machine guns, ensuring sustained firepower during engagements. In addition to the previously mentioned survivability features, the Leclerc is equipped with an automatic fire suppression system designed to swiftly identify and extinguish internal flames, thereby mitigating the risk of ammunition detonation. An NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, system further safeguards the crew from a range of airborne threats. The armor composition of the Leclerc is a testament to French ingenuity, combining traditional steel with advanced materials such as titanium and nera, non-explosive slash non-energetic reactive armor. This innovative approach enhances protection against a variety of threats. Both the turret and hull feature welded steel construction, augmented by modular composite armor, providing a robust and reinforced contact surface. The Leclerc's high power-to-weight ratio allows for the integration of additional armor blocks without significant performance degradation, ensuring adaptability and enhanced protection in dynamic battlefield scenarios. Powering the Leclerc series is the SACM UDU V8X T9 Hyperbar 8-cylinder diesel engine, delivering an impressive 1,500 horsepower. 
Coupled with the SESAM ESM500 series automatic transmission system, this engine configuration enables the tank to achieve a maximum road speed of 44 miles per hour on optimal surfaces, albeit slightly reduced to approximately 30 miles per hour when traversing cross-country terrain. With a listed operational range of 340 miles, the Leclerc can be augmented with external fuel stores mounted to the rear hull, extending its range to a full 400 miles. These performance capabilities allow the tank to effectively keep pace with or even lead accompanying mechanized forces into combat, with its speed also serving as a valuable defensive tactic. At idle, the Leclerc transitions to minimal power operation through the onboard Turbomica TM-7038 gas turbine engine, which powers various vehicle functions. This arrangement allows the main power plant to be deactivated, minimizing the tank's auditory and visual signatures, enhancing its stealth capabilities during stationary operations. Since its introduction, the Leclerc has undergone several variant releases to enhance its capabilities for various operational environments. The initial development resulted in the Leclerc T1 and T2 pre-production models, totaling 17 examples. Following this, the Leclerc T3, T4, and T5 production quality variants were manufactured between 1992 and 1996, with a total of 132 units produced. Subsequent variants, including the Leclerc T6, T7, and T8, were equipped with air conditioning systems to facilitate operations in high-temperature environments. The Leclerc T9 featured the newer Iris thermal camera system, enhancing situational awareness for the crew. Further modernization efforts resulted in the Leclerc T10 and T11 variants, which incorporated a command display and improved armor protection to bolster crew safety and mission effectiveness. Additionally, the Leclerc AZUR variant was specifically developed for urban combat scenarios, diverging from the traditional open warfare role typically associated with main battle tanks. This defensive-oriented approach mirrors similar initiatives seen with other tank models such as the M1 Abrams and Leopard 2, reflecting evolving battlefield dynamics and the need for versatility in modern warfare. In addition to its combat variants, the Leclerc chassis serves as the foundation for a family of related vehicles tailored to fulfill diverse battlefield roles. Among these are the Leclerc EPG Armored Engineering Vehicle, equipped with specialized tools and equipment for engineering tasks on the battlefield. The Leclerc DNG Battlefield Repair Tank provides on-the-spot repair capabilities, ensuring operational readiness of armored units during combat operations. Lastly, the Leclerc Mars Armored Recovery Vehicle is tasked with recovering and towing disabled or damaged vehicles from the battlefield to maintenance facilities. While these vehicles may not directly engage in combat, they are outfitted with essential equipment such as dozer blades and powered winches to effectively execute their designated tasks, contributing to the overall effectiveness and efficiency of armored units in the field. The UAE variant of the Leclerc tank underwent slight modifications to adapt to the demanding conditions of desert operations. These modifications include the installation of a German-produced MTU-883 diesel engine, renowned for its performance and reliability in high-temperature environments. Additionally, an external auxiliary power unit, APU, was added to enhance the tank's operational endurance and self-sufficiency in the field. To optimize crew safety and situational awareness, a remote control system was integrated for the roof-mounted 7.62mm machine gun, enabling firing of the weapon even when the tank is fully enclosed, buttoned up. Furthermore, subtle changes and refinements were made to tailor the vehicle to the specific operational requirements of the UAE Army, ensuring optimal performance and effectiveness in desert conditions. As of now, approximately 862 Leclerc tanks have been manufactured. The French military currently operates 426 of these tanks, comprising 406 main battle tanks, MBTs, and 20 armored recovery vehicles, ARVs. Meanwhile, the United Arab Emirates utilizes 436 Leclerc tanks, including 388 MBTs, 46 ARVs, and two trainers. Originally manufactured under the GIAT Industries brand label, the Leclerc tank is now produced under the Nexter brand. Nexter is also responsible for manufacturing a range of other military equipment for the French Army, including the FAMAS assault rifle, FRF-2 sniper rifle, LG-1 MK-2 105mm towed field gun, and the eight-wheeled VBCI armored infantry fighting vehicle. Qatar has expressed interest in acquiring French Leclerc tanks, though from existing French stocks rather than through new-build models. However, a similar procurement deal with Colombian authorities was never finalized by the participating governments. 
Currently, the French army oversees the operation of approximately 254 Leclerc tanks across four active regiments and reserve stores.